Champions don't become champions when they win the event. The event is won or lost in preparation. Prepare well, son, and call yourself a champion. Five times, baby. Five times. <laughs> you know, this is the workouts that count, right? Of the course. You don't really want to do it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. That's it. Beautiful. Love it. Oh. Jesus Christ. When you step off the plane and you're straight in the gym, you gotta love it, it. You gotta love it. You got to love it. You know, I really want to just pop the top, but I want to keep a secret for you guys. Yeah. Can't yeah. pop the top yet. Don't let them see it yet. No. Because now, now, now it's, you get to go over there and dominate. All right, you know I mean? I, that's the whole idea. Peak, peak, peak week for me is all about, not secrecy, not secrecy. It's about just like, I've given you a taste of what's coming. The rest is now down to the surprise. You know, it's just down to the surprise and just kind of focus on on doing the basics really well. Um, again, we're going to go back to saying people that stress themselves out at peak week are people that lack, lack of experience. Not in lack of experience, but, you know. I wish we were. You've got to understand you chose this life. Next week. Yeah, you chose this life. Oh, yeah. Go yeah. Ahead. Imagine that. Yeah, you, you, what are you guys off to? We're off to Montana the same weekend that you're doing this show. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Horrible. That would have been so fun. I don't know what you guys in Montana for. Uh, at least Thursday, back Sunday, Monday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But yeah, yeah, you just got to focus on, on what the basic stuff and you, the stuff that you need to do. Pete Week, the job's done. The job's done. I'm not trying to build muscle fibers. I just like lifting heavy shit. That's why you see me doing this stuff. I'm not trying to build muscle fiber in peak week. What I'm trying to do is just... With the like, term you're trying to retain as much muscle as you exactly. can. Exactly. That's why I said to um, early on that when I'm traveling and I get a lot of stress, I don't want to get cortisone rushing through my system. I love the studies talking about traveling. Yeah. Because there's some great studies. You guys can go and jump on Google and just search these. The study of traveling. Um, and sleeping in a hotel, it's an amazing concept. There's two things that happen. One is you automatically stress more. Yes. And so your body's burning more. Yes. So it's a wild thing, and it's also a study. So it's, it's not us telling you this, it's, it's the doctors doing it. But then also the second one is mind blowing to me. You know when you go to a hotel and you're, you're on a vacation or, mm. and you don't feel like you sleep as well? It's because you do not sleep as well. Mm -hmm. There is a fight or flight method that goes on when you're sleeping at somewhere other than your home. Yeah. That you almost stay in a um, ready state. Yes. Instead of falling completely yes. into that deep, deep sleep, which is a wild study they did. And that's why when you're in a hotel, it's like, oh, I didn't sleep well. I heard every noise, the, the people walking by. It's because you never get into that really dark, deep, sorry, sleep. Uh, I was keeping thinking about Serge's uh, skin tone. <laughs> Sorry about that. So it's just, it, you gotta eat more. Mostly if you're a freaking monster like yeah. this man. I think you wanna hold on to as much muscle tissue as possible and I think like you definitely, like like I said, it's just like adding an extra refeed in, 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 in your meals. So, you know, I had some extra bit of food. Nuts and nuts. protein. Yeah, you didn't have extra yeah. carbs. No, I love that. No, I didn't have extra carbs. Uh, I think I just had my carbs that I had, which is 100 grams of rice, um, which I had, um, and then I just had nuts and protein. Oh, so you, you had a thousand from nuts and protein? Nuts and protein, yeah, from fats. Right. So extra nuts. So for now, and just what well, even today, Americans, 76 grams of carbohydrates a day right now at 260 pounds, nothing. and he's still lifting like this, yeah. and training like this. Nothing. So, it is absolutely nothing. I, I think when you start to realize as well, a, a lot of people, they say, pull the carbs, pull the carbs, like keto diets, no carbs for Marbella, you know, no carbs for Marbs, you know, for you guys out there who are English, <laughs> you'll understand my lingo. But um, carbs, something I've noticed over the years is actually really helped me. But that last minute pull of the carbs is, and then manipulation of water, keep the water intake really, really high. So, you know, tomorrow's water intake will be around, you know, 
Oh, 12 liters. Point. 12 liters. Mo, 12 liters is what gallons? I mean, it's like that's four, is there four gallons in a liter? Four. Yeah. 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 Three. Three, three, gallons. three gallons. Three gallons. Three gallons. Three. Three point two. Okay. Yeah. Just about three Just gallons. Just going to set it. Yeah. So, so yeah. this is your third setup. I've learned what you're doing now. Yeah. Two sets around 10 reps, 10 to 12. Now this will do a good. heavy, heavy one for around eight. eight. All right. Eight reps, and I'll strip it down again Ten. and do 30. Then it'll do 30. Yeah. All right. <laughs> for the pump. This is just eight. You just pump it for the girls. Yeah. Gotcha. Nice. Safety bar. Oh, my God. One. Two. Three. So it's not clicking. Yeah, Four. <coughs> now you're warmed up. Five. Bruce. Six. <coughs> go. 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 Seven. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Oh. Champions don't become champions when they win the event. The event is won or lost in preparation. Prepare well, son, and call yourself a champion. Five times, baby. Five times. <laughs> For me, I, I, I've seen, I've seen the lack of movement in the shoulders for people as they age and age and age and get the mileage and mileage. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about it like you're close to 15 years younger than me, and so it's the mileage over the next 15 years. Yeah, I want you to be the same, mm -hmm. and so that's why there was a time where I just go, yeah, I like the rep range. Maybe a high rep range for me is a, a 10 every once in a while. Yeah. But six is, is where I normally go, or three to six and heavy. And mostly right now, because it's right now it's just adding in the volume, 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 uh, very limited work, very little work, but precise with as much calories as I can take. Yeah. And then those two things will flip. Excellent. As we start to prep, as we so start. So you, you, you like to kind of minimize the workload, minimize the calorie intake. Is that correct? Up the calorie intake, minimize, minimize the, work. the workload. Okay. Then I get ready by upping the workload and minimizing the calories. So switch around. It's an interesting concept. See, I rather, for me, I rather increase the calories, keep the calories high, and work more. I'd rather work more, I'd rather do a double session and do double cardio and have my calories high because I love food. <laughs> I'm a foodie, so, you know, so, um, that's what I've done throughout this prep, and I've done quite a lot of, uh, I've done quite a lot throughout this prep where I've done, my calories haven't really dropped below 3,000. It hasn't dropped below 3,000. And I don't think, and I think if they're watching this, I don't think they should do what I'm doing. I think they should do what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm closing in on 60. You're yeah. still a 40 year old cat. That's and it. So you could do the, the mileage stuff. I'm trying to make sure. Longevity now. In another five years, yeah. I'm still here doing it. Yeah, exactly. And so as I can get as less mileage, and I'm finding my body changes, and by keeping the strength and the range of motion that I'm doing, I keep that size and strength, and then I get in shape easy by just changing the calorie intake. Yeah, that's phenomenal. The I think least damage possible. Yeah, definitely, I agree with you. I think your your body putting your work, you're putting your body through the minimal amount of stress for maximum amount of gains, and manipulating your body utilizing the calories medication, which makes perfect sense. That's the best thing to do. You know, it makes sense. You get 30, 30 reps right here. 30 reps. Baby, love me. That's quality. I need one of those in my life. I need one of those in my life. And again, just so you guys at home, I, I think what he's doing, if you want to be Mr. World, you have to do this kind of volume that he's doing. And use those rep rates. Enjoy that stuff. Come on. Keep going. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Two, three, Ooh, wee. Five, 
six, seven, eight. Uh huh. Nine, ten. I got you. That's it. Oh. <laughs> It's one of those things where I quite like the volume. I do like the volume, but I think it's just about just getting that blood pumping into the actual chest fibre um, and filling up the chest with, with, with blood. Um, it just works really well for me, really, really well, especially so close um, to competition. You see a lot of guys, a lot of cats, they'll just use light dumbbells and they'll just be doing like depletion workouts. So getting the glycogen out, out of the muscle fiber, um, you know, but for me, um, my depletion workout will come in slowly, but for now, it's just about just taking the muscle through a, a movement. And this workout is probably more important than anything else. Because again, I don't want to be here doing this today. I could be upstairs sleeping. Like in London now, it's like what? My clock's, actually my, my watch is still set to London time. It's, it's 10 past 12 in the morning. So, you know, it's 10 past 12 in the morning in London. Um, so, it's important you understand that the sacrifices that I want you guys to try and implement and make is just to realize that people like myself and Mike, there's a lot of stuff that we would do that we do not want to do. How would you do that for a kid? How would you explain that to a kid? Because it, it, I know you, and, and you were born and raised, and, and your parents raised to that delayed gratification yeah. gets you something more. So how would you explain that to a kid? There's not going to be balance if you want to be a Wally. Uh, it's simple. Uh, I'll explain in one in, in a couple of sentences. Your body's not Amazon Prime. You don't order it today, and it comes tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I think we're living in the modern era where. You know, and I'm guilty of it myself. You know, I go on Amazon and I try and find something that I want. I'm like, oh, I get that delivered tonight. Or I get that delivered tomorrow morning. And like anything you want, it's at your fingertip where previously, you know, you go and order something and you have to wait two, three days for it to be delivered or four or five days to be delivered. Now you're on Amazon Prime, it's getting delivered within 24 hours. But what I'm saying, your body's not Amazon Prime. So yes. delayed gratification, like, I, I've used this before, and I've said this before, don't compare your chapter one to my chapter 10. Like, you know, my chapter 10, there's a lot of, a lot of chapters that have passed before you get to where you want to be. Just stay consistent. You know, I know social media is hard these days, but you got to love the journey. For me, competing is just the cherry on top of the pie. I love training, I love the journey. The journey is more important to me than just a stepping on stage.